Hi, I am SolarLoon, and this is uh, part one of a tutorial series on how to use Sunbox. Um, Sunbox is a fun, easy to use, cross platform, tracker like uh, music creation program. It's very powerful. I've been using it for a few months and I like it a lot. Um, unlike other trackers like Milky Tracker or, or Mod Plug Tracker, which uh, they have sampler, uh, they pretty much only use samplers for their instruments. They can only play a single pattern at a time. Sunbox is more uh, more widespread. You could pl use it like that, like an old school tracker, but you also can use it as a more uh, workstation sort of approach. Um, Sunbox allows you to use synths as well as samplers, and it can uh, play more than one pattern at a time. It can play, as far as I know, um, an unlimited amount unless your computer can't handle it. So it's very easy to use, it's fun to work with. So I'm, gonna ju I'm just going to go through something really quickly uh, because I don't want to take up too much time just for the first tutorial. We have three windows here. We have the timeline window here which is the timeline of our song that goes from left to right zero minutes to however long our song is. It will extend as far pretty much as our pattern, uh, last pattern goes. So for example I just created a new pattern by right clicking and saying new pattern. It would stop here at the right edge of this new pattern. So let's delete that. We can press the delete key and say yes, remove the selected pattern and select it. Now if you noticed this change, this is the pattern editor. So what we see here is what is contained in this. So when the song plays, it will play this pattern. It will advance in this screen from top to bottom. Whereas over here we'll go from left to right. It can be a little confusing at first if you're not used to it, but it's not that hard to remember. It just helps to know as the song plays, as you can see the yellow playhead in the pattern window moves down. Okay. This is the piano roll. This is one method of inputting notes. You can use your computer keyboard or you can use a MIDI keyboard if you have it, which is very nice to have. Um, this is to scroll the octaves up or down for the keyboard. This is the pattern editor for our pattern, currently selected pattern. So we can draw in and say, oh, we want this to be, you know, we want to know that, identify this as the drum set or whatever. And so as you can see, the icon appears um, on our pattern. So what I just uh, rolled down before, this is our module view. Now our module view is pretty much possible, well, it's not the most important, but it's a very important part of Sunbox. That is where you put your synths and effects. Now routing is important. Routing needs to go uh, from each module to the output. So in this uh, example, when you first start up Sunbox, it will give you a generator and an echo. The generator is routed to the echo. You can see this by the little dot sliding from generator to echo. And the echo goes from echo to output. You can see that same way. Now the output is what you're going to hear, so you need to make sure when you ha put down a generator or a, an effect or anything, it goes in the correct order to the output. Now, um, we won't be needing these. Well, let me go over here real quick. This is the pa uh, parameter side for any selected um, synths. So, for example, our generator has some selected synth, uh, selected pr parameters here. Echo has some parameters. Output does not have any pr parameters, which is understandable. It's just an output. So, we can delete these by pressing the delete key and selecting yes, or by going to the module menu and pressing the delete module um, entry. So let's make a new module. We can go to the module men menu and say new module or right click and say new module. And then we'll create a generator and we'll pass it into the output. We can uh, do this either using the link button here. So we are have our generator selected. We click the link button, click the output. That's one way. If you do it again, it will disengage the link. Or you can hold shift and drag from the generator to the output. Either way will work. And I prefer the shift method because it's just easier. It's a keyboard short shortcut. Um, so next, uh, next we have parameters here of our generator, and so we can set these up how we wish to change the sound of the generator. But for now, let's just get a simple pattern going to see how it works. So, yep, rolling around on the rolling around on the piano roll gives us, the, you know, we can hear it. If we don't have it connected to the output, we can't hear anything. So be aware of that. Alright, so we're going to record some notes. You can press the record button up here, or press the space key, whichever one is easier. 
and then you can go ahead and pray, press some notes. So let's just put down some notes. Now, if you notice, each time I press a note, it went down one line. That's because of this edit step button. And so you click it, you can see how many lines you would move down um, when you press it, put a note down. By default, it's one, which is fine. So, now that we uh, did that, we can try it out by pressing the play button. Play pattern button. Right. Now, it's a little quiet, so you can use this. This is the overall volume slider to slide the volume up. And so, yeah, that's it. So, um, yeah, so that's, this is just has been a very short basic tutorial on how to use Sunbox. Uh, I'll go into more things like building a better beat in the second part, hopefully, of this tutorial series. Thank you for watching, and I hope you download some box. It's free except for um, o iOS, iPhone, or different things like that. But it's free for computers. Have fun with it, download it, mess around with it. It's, it's a lot of fun.